So the title of my project is, What Grade Was It? And it comes from me asking the question, what grade was it when you realized black students are disciplined with more extreme consequences than white children? What grade was it when you realized there are things that the person next to you can get away with, but you can't? What grade was it when you experienced this or has it never happened to you at all? To take this a step further, I want to talk about black kids in predominantly white schools. A lot of the peer review articles I found based the evidence on white teachers in multicultural environments, but what happens when the black student is in unfamiliar territory? A lot of my interviews show exactly what happens, and more often than not, these students are overly disciplined by zero tolerance policies, micromanaged, and publicly embarrassed just to get the point across to another student they never treat that way. I think this topic is something that people have seen, but they don't really care about. And for my interviews, I sat down and had a conversation with 10 other people that I have had this experience and can shine light on what it's like navigating these environments. So I created a teaser trailer for the full video and uh, here that is. It's, it's a little bit more like subconscious. It's, it's kind of like, oh, I'm a problem. And I just like, you know, take a second, like, Man, my teacher really just threw a paper at me, you know. They were asking if I came from like an aggressive childhood. The teacher just showed up, just said like, I will call the police. And we just kind of all looked at her. Like, and she made me like duck my head all the way down. It was like, oh no, you need to go back upstairs, pick your hair out and then come back down. So now I'm confused why I, as a young black child, was the only one that got the punishment when we were both in the wrong. But the same teacher would chew me out in front of the whole entire class and basically told me that the only reason I was befriending certain people in the class was because everyone else did not like me. I would say I was a pretty innocent student, you know. If I ever uh, caused a problem and not intentionally, like, I would, I would like, you know, apologize about it. Maybe. Of like, okay, these are the students who, who we can give respect and privileges to versus the black students who we kind of push aside. I'm really into multimedia art right now, so it was really important for me to create these pieces and combine the audio that matches the same feel. One thing about the creative work was that these designs were inspired by the Rorschach patterns in terms of unpredictability, and it kind of symbolizes what it feels like to navigate these spaces and how each piece is different, but they coexist in similar worlds. Because after experiences like this, when you're so young, you try to make a, a meaning out of all of it. And one of the peer review articles titled Teacher Beliefs in the Overrepresentation of Black Students in Classroom Discipline gives a really unfortunate example of a study done in 2016. You might have seen it. I kind of remember what it was, but it was an eye gaze test, and it basically tested multiple teachers, asking them to watch four students. One of them was a black boy, and the rest of them were white, and told them to press a button when you see misbehavior. Little did they know that there was not going to be any misbehaving, so they checked the eye gaze and found that these teachers were very vigilant watching the black child. And it really just adds to the implicit bias, and it's clearly a mindset, whether you're conscious or unconscious about it. But yeah, this topic really means uh, a lot to me, coming from a school like this and dealing with this so much. Um, the full videos on YouTube, there's a lot of great stories on there. Um, so yeah, that was, what great was it?